Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Tales of Rise. Today we are going further into the Forbidden Zone. Also, the Forbidden Zone sounds like something. Oh no, Flash Black? Is that a Simpson reference? You are now entering the Forbidden... Oh shit, what is that? Futurama, maybe? Nayori, I... I... Don't talk. I have to do this. I gave you my word that I'd help you return to Dana. The next time you open your eyes, you'll be home. But you... My place is here with my people. I still have a duty to fulfill. I'm sorry for what you've endured. Rena never should have dragged you into this. It's not your burden to bear. But... The mask contains a sedative. It should keep your mind from tearing itself apart any further. Let yourself go to sleep. This should help with the pain. Time to go, Elfin. Farewell. Nayori. Bye, Nayori. His injuries are worse than I thought. Short-term treatment isn't going to cut it. I'll have to switch the healing pod to long-term hibernation mode. The chance of surviving hibernation's less than 10%? And worse, long-term use of the mask carries a high risk of damaging his mind and nervous system. But... Uh, Yo, whatever's going on. I don't head back. Lenigus will be nothing but ashes, and this starship along with it. I don't know if I can fulfill my promise to you, Alfin. But if... If doing this will grant you even the slightest chance... I mean, that is a pretty big risk, but then again, if he's dying already... I hope it's enough. Please, live for me, Elfin. <sighs> that vision... It must have been from when Naori helped Elfin escape Lenigus. She sure went above and beyond the call of duty. Even with Lenigus crumbling down around her, she chose to stay put with her people. So that's why you lost your memories and sense of pain, and why you were asleep for that whole time. It was all the result of one agonizing decision Naori made to save your life. So I'm not immortal? Like I age? Yeah. That sucks. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be alive today. I owe her everything. More than I could ever hope to repay. Now that you know how she felt, how do you plan on honoring her wishes? She kept her promise. If the Renan people she fought so desperately to protect are at risk from a malevolent force, then I owe it to her to carry on her fight. Naori was the one who put that mask on me and made me Iron Mask. She did it to prevent your soul from tearing itself apart. I'm assuming she all the elemental astral energy and sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. Go me. All right. Uh, in we go. Nothing. The exclamation point is floating there and that makes it look like something, but it's not. I don't know. I was like, what is that? Where are we? Okay. Wait, what is this? Uh, doesn't say. Let's go here real fast. Classified area. That's it? Okay. Oh, is it boss time again? I need another healing circle, please. Uh, let's go down right first. The door's locked. God damn it. Oh, treasure. 
That's a creepy looking door, by the way. It looks like it's covered in thorns. I wonder if there's any connection. Heavy treat. Our food's about to run out, but there's no telepads or camping sites, so... Oh well. We just... We just walked through that. We didn't have any... Any comments about what that was? This place. We've seen this in one of Naori's memories. Of course. After 300 years, this is where it was held. The spirit channeling ceremony. This is where the Renis Alma was. So this is the place where you and Naori... The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. I mean, you're Come right. On. I wouldn't do that. Why? Flashback? Or boss time? <gasps> or Noori time? What is this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? It's been a year since the ceremony. That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. I mean, it's been more than a year. What we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. As Sovereign, they linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power, lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Linked to Lenigus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of Oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alfin lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. Yeah, understandably, I would lash he did out what too. I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. So wait, the thorns come from Alfin? But it was too late. Lanigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed Cruelly, out. rightly, one or the other. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Alma seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, Perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the. Well, Renis you didn't have the sovereign instead. anymore, right? That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin, the sovereign, was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden. 
to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my So you had the well. thorns, but they didn't like affect you like it does Shion? I, I would assume that. Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat, too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't- you could have not had kids. Right? Right, like, if you didn't have any descendants, it would have just died with you of old age? Or hell, you might have just been alive, like, it would have kept you young, I don't know. from Naori? Or... Was it the Danon voice speaking through her? Did you just change our clothes? I mean, they're snazzy, don't get me wrong. Uh, what? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore. During the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this is the maiden's outfit? That's right. These clothes are designed to resonate with the sovereign and maiden's abilities. They focus and enhance them. Okay. And they appeared now because. Story? Naori must have left them here for the new sovereign and maiden, knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the thorns. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Xion, thereby silencing her thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? It makes sense. After all, Master Cores and Spirit Vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a Maiden and Sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Shion. I mean, I like the outfit. I don't know, the feathers are a bit much, but you they're really nice. You think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. However, I, I mean, we should really ceremony figure that out first once. before we get our hopes up. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. I mean, you really should wait on that. Don't want to get your hopes up. Hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril. It's selfish of me, I know, but... But still... No, it isn't! You found hope to believe in. It be should strange really not get too it. like right. We can reach okay, you that's fine. and still save the world at the same time. It's like being optimistic, but then there's like being blind by hope. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, I really don't know how that works. To to prove honestly, that trust was well placed. Like, would they would they have escaped from her if she like died of old age or something? Is that why she had kids to pass it on to? Yeah, we've come all this way. Now we just need to search Linus. How'd she know she was gonna have a daughter? Right. I'm assuming the maiden can only be like a female Renan lady, right? Maybe it can be male. I don't know. My services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? I'm the miracle maker, man. How do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Shion. You included. Nah, it was mostly me. Now let's get moving, shall we? 
Last I heard, we had an apocalypse to stop. Or cause. <laughs> Thank you, Naori. So, okay, I'm assuming... So Naori sealed away the power that made me lose control of myself. She stopped my rampage and saved my life. But then, that power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm so sorry, Xion. It's my fault that you're cursed. You're wrong. What happened well, no, he's because right. of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion? You paid a heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. I mean, true. The reason you lost your memory. Uh, to be fair, I guess it is not Elfin's fault. It's curse. the Renan's fault that the did this source. to him. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put an end to all this. When my thorns are gone, I never dared to dream that such a thing could be possible. No, the truth is, I think maybe I've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns. The touch of my family, or playing with my friends, holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack. You can still do that. Embracing everyone, all the normal things that people do together. I always wished I could experience them for Look, myself. Look, if you want to slap I'm Law, you by all means life. go right ahead. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end, and... That's not going to happen. It might happen. I'm we don't know. Sure, it won't. Forget fate. I mean, I mean I'm assuming else. the game's going to have a happy We're ending. So, it's probably going to happen. Normal life. There are a lot of things you still want to do. Where? What is that sword? Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where'd that sword come from? It's such a strange feeling. I know that we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead. That is not my sword. For my sake. So I can live. You're worth fighting for. I believe you, Alfin. Good. Okay, I'll bring it in for an electric hug. For as long as it takes. Until our future is finally in our hands. Where did this sword come from? It's cool looking. Don't get me wrong. Xion, latest maiden. So I'm assuming that if Nori died of like old age, then the thorns would have came out. Revitalize. Advanced healing restores all allies HP. That sounds sick. Um, What are you learning right now? You're not learning anything? Oh, well, okay. There you go. Well, you should really have something you're working towards. Spear sweep? Uh, how much are we looking for here? Uh, that's... Oh, down here. Oh, never mind. Well, that's fine. Just now learning that, too. Okay. That sword. Sword given to the chosen sovereign that draws out all of its latent powers as to carry out the spirit channel standard. Okay. Then that, that is the armor we're wearing, and that is the outfit she's wearing. Uh, the woman with no walls. One second. Gotta check out this shit. Okay, it's fairly strong. I like the way it looks, too. It's pretty dope. I'm glad I didn't buy you diamond stuff. Oh, you didn't get a new gun? That's a shame. Sounds like this Naori chick had quite the big heart. It was a medical condition. Her position demanded nothing less from the sound of things. She didn't focus on differences, least of all those between Renans and Danans. Yeah, it was Naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible. And then she saved my life by sending me back home to Dana. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenegas for the sake of her people. It sounds like she was quite the hero, all right. A truly caring person. That's as if walls meant nothing to her. The one separating the Renans from the Danans, or herself from others. She had no need for them. Which basically meant that she never had anything to break down in the first place, huh? Yeah. I think you may be right about that. You inherited that legacy. Her wish for the world. Don't I know it? She's kind of like a lodestar guiding I thought that said lobster, and I was going to be like, what the fuck you. are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean she's like a lobster? What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> all right, so... I'm assuming if she died from old age, the thing would have, like, gone on a rampage, right? So she just had children in hopes that she would have a maiden to pass on her thorns to? 
Oh, I like the new uh, loading screen. Um, but like, okay, if that's the case, we're going this way. Let's check around the room for us. I'm assuming their thorns weren't activated either until they get the she on, right? So why did her thorns activate? Like, I mean, I'm, maybe they had some like electric gear that you could actually have kids with. I'm not even like, we're not even talking about reproduction right here, right? Like sex is one thing. You can, you wear a suit or artificial insemination. That's one thing. Having a baby with thorns would kill the baby, right? Almost assuredly, or the mother if it gets transferred to the baby, yeah? So I'm assuming they weren't activated. But maybe won't even, the red woman, that is her. Uh, I would really love like a fast travel point because I would really love to do the training ground stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess that is a boss room. Is there healing? Oh no, that is not a boss room. There is no healing thing. I mean, I guess they could give us a boss room without healing, but that'd be very rude. That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? Probably. After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. <laughs> we'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for That's it, right. Alfred. I am the Sovereign. You shall address me as such. I need a crown, too, to match this awesome outfit and my sword. This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just nothing. Okay. Uh, a strange manor. We're a long way from the residential quarters now. It looks completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place... It reminds me more of being back inside the Wedge. Except the Dan and Astral energy feels even stronger here. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renin Sovereign. Maybe he just has strange tastes? That's possible. This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago. Or perhaps even further back. Still... This isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. So what is it then? Hold up. Decadence? Artistic circles? <laughs> when a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate you further. That depends. Does it involve you buying me lunch? The void that art fills isn't the stomach. It's the soul. <laughs> Kassara's face! Case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Now all we need is something to fill up the void inside your head. Shut <laughs> up. The smug look on her and Hoodle's face is great. All right, give me this healing circle. Thank you. Woo. Probably should have saved. I actually didn't think we were going to be in the cutscene like uh, immediately after the healing circle. But that's fine. Volron. He really was still alive. Was he alive? Okay. And there's the Renaissance. I just kind of thought they took the body from him. Then is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, though. Something doesn't seem right here. Oh, once more, the powers must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena at the shrine of the true sovereign. Me? What has happened to him? He's lost himself, reduced to a mere cog in a machine. I did stab him through the heart. He was, he was to blame, Isn't though. Isn't that the Maiden's Crest? The Red Woman? Can it be? 
that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the maiden? Well, this is just a horrible maiden. It looks like it's still running, but are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegus's transformation, then the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. Yeah. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? Pure greed. I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. Xion, shoot him in the head. That said, we should retrieve the Renis Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? He might. Time, Law. Alfin, look! <laughs> the red woman. She looks like she's wearing white there. So we finally oh, found the light. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait. What? The Multiple all white women. Face? How is that even possible? <laughs> Triplets. Maybe they're not human. They're not human. That's fine. Or Renin, whatever you want to call it. Oh. Damn, girl, what a glow up, huh? Who the hell are they? <laughs> Can't be. Are they even people? It's hard to know for sure, but I think they're the true rulers of Rena. So, what do you like, robot ladies? Monsters? Red Roman 1, Red Roman 1, okay. Ow. Oh, I am a- ow. I am a great- No, everyone focus fire. Okay, focus- which one are you fighting? This one? Okay, we're standing literally in the middle of that. Ow, god damn, what the hell are you hitting me with? Oh, thank you for that. Will you back out of that, please, thank you. Together. No, we need to pull their fingernails off. That's what we need to do. Oh, do we not need the focus fire? Oh, we don't need the focus fire, do we? Oh, get out of the way of that, AI. Yeah. Always be hydrating. I guess we don't need the focus fire. That's fine. Kasara, you're the tank. Stop dying. She'll bring you back from death to this. It's what she does. Yeah, you do, apparently. Ow. Um, are you attacking me? I feel like you might be attacking me, so let's come in here. And be like, mm mm mm, give me some grape gel. Oh god, oh god. Oh, we don't have to do a strike thing? Oh my god. Kasara! I love it when I do like 8,000 to like 12,000 damage. Thank you for arriving. I wasn't sure if that was mine or hers. Raining Slash is actually broken. Oh, that did not work. I don't like this. Oh god, oh god. I dodged right into that. <laughs> I did my move right into that. We are, we are kicking their asses, even if we have died a few times. Oh god. Oh, can't touch this. Can't touch this. Okay, you can touch this and you literally smack Kassar to death. Gotta admit, I'm not a fan. I missed that. Alright. I'm not really sure what's my attack and what's your attack. I kind of. Ow. Like sometimes. Ow. Rinwell, you died? How dare you? Like, out of every... Oh, 
mind. Okay, never mind. I thought that was enough. I thought that was enough. Not enough for the second one. Oh, no, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You can't move because you're dead. I'm not leaving you. I ain't going nowhere. That wasn't that bad. Okay, they're all dead. Great. Surrender. No, kill him. It's useless now. Do you think it's really over? Astral energy. Watch out! They've got something up their sleeve. Are they gonna blow up? They're gonna blow up. <laughs> What? It's self-destructed? Helfin! I'm okay. Just a little rough time. Hey, cut off Voltron's head. Just in case. You had me worried there. Or his knees, one or the other. Who said you could touch that? Me? Stab him! Damn it! He's awake! Hmm. I should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down, sovereign or not. I mean, he has a point. Will pay for that. See, that's why you cut his legs off while he's chained up like that. You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. That gun is so dumb looking. Really, is that what you think? See, shoot! Stab! Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Yeah? You're pretty Are you weak, going actually. To claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf, who happens to be another sovereign? It's kind of a waste I of time, man. Battle. I proved my worth, and the sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? They were just a you were just a test we subject, dog. Know the title of sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown code name for those with the designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. And every one of them besides me died. But he's a Renin, right? All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library for you and Volron. Well, he was insane, yeah? They locked 300 years apart. And yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Then you mean... Voron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Oh, you're Danon? Just like us. Are you a witch? Because I'm pretty sure I saw you use Astral Arts. Volron. Is that a sovereign thing? If that's a sovereign thing, why can't I do that? And caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? <laughs> Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions. Me and everyone else. That is all that matters. <laughs> Shoot him! Stand above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. What happened? Don't do it! 
No, that's ours. Shoot! Okay, never mind. Well, shoot him too! Oh, uh, good. It's too late. You can't stay here. We need to go. Help it. Shoot him! Don't give him a chance to live! Oh, he's gonna totally live through that shit, isn't he? Shoot him! Uh. Jump? You can make it. Yo, Dolhalim, get your healing spell ready, man. Keep me from screaming out. Get the healing ready. Do not miss. Okay. Hot enough for you? Okay, heal me. Go. But no, I will be your shadow no matter where you try to run. Let's go. Shoot him! <laughs> Never forget, I am the one who devours everything. Who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law. I am. I am. Okay, there's a chance he's dead. Okay? I don't yeah. buy it, though. We'll be fine. Is Volron... Have we finally seen the last of Probably him? not. It is a JRPG. We did not What's shoot him or take his legs, what so he's coming back. Deal? Could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? Yeah. What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renesalma. Damn it, that's the second time now. Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now, those things are really stealing if it's way. ours, but yeah, no, I get it. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Yeah. Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah. Probably a grumpy There's old a good dude. Chance it's not human. That's for sure. So this thing over really on the grumpy Rena, old dude, isn't it? That's what's really behind. That was a joke, huh? but it's probably going to be a grumpy Rena's old dude. Their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. We should totally self-destruct Lenigus though before we leave. Back to the starship. But seriously, I was not expecting that Moron is a decent amount of experience points. He seemed to care not one whit about Brennan's or Danon's. Yeah, not in a good way like with us. I mean, sure. I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Tell me about it. One minute they look perfectly human. They did not they look perfectly not human. Did you see their all? eyes? They definitely weren't Renan or Danon. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? Human Zoogle hybrids? Maybe. Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day? I mean, How about you honestly, I haven't, I'm surprised we haven't seen something like that. Seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the red woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Shion's. Pretty stomachs. sure they wouldn't just sit down at. Well, maybe they would. They I don't know. They themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them, or in order to keep something hidden? Probably to keep something Those hidden. Sound plausible to my ears. They took off with the Renis Alma too. Remember? Yeah, they did. And the next time we meet them, we're going to make sure they tell us everything they know. 
Anything else? Can I teleport out of here? I cannot. All right, well, we'll just keep going, I guess. Hey, did that healing spot restore? No, I'm not healing. Oh, wait, we have a uh, you with that, and then we'll do that. I'm assuming. Look, are you gonna make me run out of here and not give me anything new like you did with the wedge? And, you know, pedestal for the. Yeah, okay. Look, game, I can appreciate a good time sink. I really can. I really can. But. I will be kind of upset if you make me through, like, run through this entire Forbidden Zone again. Through the bosses, not the bosses, but the enemies, including the mantises. <sighs> okay. Dude, I will give you the benefit of a doubt, and we'll just keep going this way. I'm assuming uh, Doholim's friend's gonna be somewhere around here with, uh... Fre Braria? Braria? Something. This was the entrance, right? Oh, healing spot. That's great. I'm glad that restored. That was from when we fought uh, the summoning. You know, stay away from the summoner lady, uh, Ferrari lady. We're going to keep going. I will see you guys at that star. All right. So we have made it out of here. Assuming it's going to be a cutscene of some sort. What the? When did it get pitch dark all of a sudden? Uh, it looks like they lost the power. They're all out. Think it has something to do with the explosion back in the Forbidden Zone? Maybe. Doe? You two. Faria, Avakir. Thank goodness you're safe. Avakir filled me in about everything. About how I ambushed you all. She doesn't remember a thing. So she really was being controlled. It wasn't that hard to, to find, figure out. He told me about Tarnigan, too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Stop casting me off! Just for one- Faria, not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenegas is in grave peril. Whoa. So I can see. It's the city's core reactor. It's damaged. Some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still a way off. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer, and we run the risk of riots breaking out before... Well, you know, we I'm a Sovereign. You want me to do it? Forget the Sovereign. I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. Ominous is, music? If he ever even existed, which is looking doubtful at this stage. Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd... There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. But how do we do that? Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. Hey, show the Sovereign Quest, Crest Dog. Like by letting them hear directly from someone they trust. That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenegas right now? Lenegas wouldn't have a next in line. 
After all, you said the Sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord, and the only one left is... Ah, very well then. Oh, I guess it can be you too. Wouldn't they know the Sovereign here? Crest though? You mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Oh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? Rise? What's going to happen to all of us? Is that Rise? Heed me now, fellow Renans of Planicus. It is I, Lord Dohalim Ilkaris of Elder Menencia. Look up there, it's Lord Dohalim. Hold on, he should be in the crown contest. Shouldn't he? Why isn't the Sovereign talking to us? The Sovereign is seeing to other matters right now. In my capacity as Lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid. As people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter. And things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned. Perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Flanagus. Not the Lords and Sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find... They're just like, that doesn't sound like what a Lord would say. Start rioting. Not as a person of lofty or rank, but as another human being among many. I hope that you'll lend me your strength, for if we can persevere as one, I know a bright tomorrow awaits. Well, oh, there you go. So where's that self-destruct button? Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. Ooh! I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. What you said earlier about the Sovereign possibly not even existing. Was it true? It's still too premature to say with any certainty, but I believe so. This whole time, this world we've been fed was a lie. Built on nothing but falsehoods. But it can't all have been. I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone, what they did to Faria, it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about hierarchy, Avakir? Authority? The very foundations of Renan's society? How can we live without someone? I'll rule you. I'm the sovereign. Found someone capable of doing just that. No, me, not him. You? You can't be serious. I have business I must take care of first. But once everything is over, I shall return. But not as your sovereign, nor as a leader the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But how else do you propose to rule? With a self-destruct button? I'm not sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenigus, a new dawn is on the verge of breaking. One in which people won't be judged by birthright or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Like money. Things like, oh, I don't know, musical talent, for example. When I bumped musical talent you seems like a poor years, judge for a governmental I system. I you were no different. But I was wrong. Truth is, you were always different. I feel like, like maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. I mean, it was self-defense. <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenigas till you get back. Thank you. I guess you're not going to make it to Menencia for the foreseeable future, huh? 
Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Elderman and Sia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenegas who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Menencia's borders that much faster. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. How could I not be, after the second chance that I've been granted? From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever in my heart. Remember, you're going to be leading the people here, not ruling them. Or, you know, ruling them, True one enough. or the other. Whatever would I do without you, Kisara? With or without her, I suspect you're going to have your hands full when the time comes. We should be heading back to the ship. Yeah, we should. Atlanta, Hopefully we can actually teleport back to, you know, Dana. All right, sorry about that. So we get uh, increased max AG1 for Dolholim, Renan leader. I mean, I'm the sovereign dog. Uh, that's fine. And you can Looks rule like for a little while. One zone master. In one sense, when all is said and done, perhaps I have been a slave this whole time too. You, a Renan lord. How do you figure that exactly? Yeah, how do you figure that exactly? I was complicit in the Renan system, bound by its values. Resigned to being swept along, without the resolve to take a stand. And when I realized the severity of my mistake, all I longed for was punishment. A lord. And yet my first instinct was to place my fate in the hands of others. I think I can relate. I couldn't stand watching my people bow and scrape their way through life. But I didn't know what else I could do about it either. Actually, you want you literally to wanted to stand up against them like, when we first started the game. That's what separates a slave from a free person. At least, that's what Law's dad Zephyr used to say. Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in doing so, he also taught me how to live. Even if it means stumbling along the way. If it's on a road of our own choosing, free of regret. Why, that's the road of freedom. Or, to put it another way, so long as his heart is compromised, even the loftiest of kings is no freer than a slave. Wow, you really... I, I finally understand now. This Zephyr character... I actually have like no idea what you're talking about. Indeed. All right. <laughs> I only wish I could have met him. There's just so much I wish I could ask him, especially now. I wonder, have I been correctly carrying on the torch that he passed to me? Uh, wiping the slate. How long have you known? Known what? About the darkness I carry inside me. You seem to have been aware of it for quite some time now. Why ask me now? What does it matter? But, yes, I have. I've pretty much known that something was gnawing at you ever since we left Menencia. So basically since the very start of our journey then, just when I thought I couldn't feel more ashamed. Leave the past where it belongs. We have no need for it now. You're forging ahead. That's what matters. If my brother could see you, he'd be proud. <laughs> not as proud as he would be of his sister, I'm sure. Well then, just as well it's not a competition, huh? Because <laughs> she wins those competitions, leaving the nest. <sighs> Kisara? Anyone at home in there? <laughs> Sorry. Did I look distracted? Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were thinking about Dohalim, weren't you? <laughs> that obvious, huh? I was just thinking how good it is to see him moving forward at last. It was always so infuriating, knowing how capable he could be if he just put his mind to it. A prisoner trapped in a cage of his own self-doubt. But now, he's finally beginning to spread his wings. I'm happy for him. So, then why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't know if I'd say sad. There's a bitter sweetness to it, I guess. It's good and... strange, knowing that he won't be needing me anymore. 
It probably sounds weird, doesn't it? I have this massive worry off my mind. I should be jumping up and down for joy. I mean, right? you can be stuck in your ways, but sure. It must be that maternal instinct of yours at work. Rinwell's right. You're like a mother bird, finally letting go as her child takes his first shaking and nervous flight from the nest. As he plummets to the ground. A pretty big child. He is rather big <laughs> child. <laughs> You're not wrong. I wouldn't like to see Dohalim's face if he heard you say that. All this has made me realize I can't allow myself to become a prisoner of my own making like he was. If Dohalim can forge his own path ahead, then I can too. I won't be left behind. Anything else? Good. Can I leave? Motherfucker. All right. So, look, this is going to be a long episode. I ain't, I ain't saving or stopping until I can actually travel back to Dana. So this might be a really long episode. What? It, <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna be. Hopefully, not gonna be a couple more. Like, I'm really hoping it goes soon because I actually have things to do. But I would like to, in between recording sessions, be able to do like the arena stuff and make some accessories, if at all possible. Uh, I would like to make the mystic one, though we haven't found any of those mystic rocks. So I'm like, I'm hoping we find those somewhat soon. Um, and by soon, I mean like now. Or maybe they just spawn on Dana somewhere. That'd be sick. I, I I don't get why I can't just teleport back to the ship, but that's fine. That that's cool. I mean, we'll just keep running and rolling. Play some Limp Biscuit music. Fred Durst kind of looks extremely odd with a full set of hair. You're right. I saw him recently, and he very gray. Definitely older. That I did never. I always kind of thought he was naturally bald. <laughs> I actually totally thought he was just bald. And when I saw him with the hair, I was like, "That that's not Fred Durst. That's clearly not Fred Durst. It was Fred Durst. No, it was. Yeah, and I definitely was taken by surprise of how he looked. There's no quests here, right? Okay, good. Because I'm not going back. I'm going to my spaceship, and then we're leaving. And I'm sure we'll get a cutscene. And then I'll be able to travel to and from every location. Please. With sugar on top, pretty please. we'd find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. And now we have more problems to fix, too. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. Sell the struck button? That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renes Alma. The answers have to be there. Are we prepared to finally find them? So, what do we do first when we get there? Side quests? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should- <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Oh, hi! That is creepy, you're right. Yo, any guns on this shit? That's probably not good. Oh, there's a lot of you ladies. Bye.
Yo, those are some creepy ass girls. Like seriously. Damn. The hell just happened? Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. We literally were teleported. What's what are you that? talking about? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That can, bad, can I not right? go back to Dana? Quite I'm going to be kind of upset about that. control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? Should have just blown us out of the sk Everyone, well, space, really. Look there. <sighs> What am I looking at? Is that Dana or Rena? The hell's that? Oh! <laughs> I take it that's Rena. God damn it. I just I just shut that thing off. See, this is why we should have self-destruct Lenigus. Wouldn't be a problem. It's a rose? I'm actually extremely confused. A flower? Blooming out of Rena? Or what's left of Rena? Power looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis' energy. Yeah, we should totally destroy Lenigus. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? I don't care. We can only pray that. Should have destroyed that thing when we were there. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? When we kill them all. The flower of oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it laid dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here floating Ooh, around? We're going to have our own episode How of Lost long? in Space? <sighs> Did we bring oh, food? Oh, yeah, we have plenty of food, actually. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death. We have plenty of food. You're not the only one who's worried here. Right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Ah! Now what? The starship, it... It's back online? Maybe? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. Is it a black hole? Is it Lenigus? It's definitely Lenigus. Is that not Lenigus? We managed to get moving, but where are we? 
It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those red women? Maybe. Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. I'm not going to be able to do the training ground stuff, will I? <sighs> Motherfucker. Hey, there's a new side quest in uh, Uzelbeck. Uzel All right. Out of reach. Ah, uh, Shion, just in the nick of time. Here, lend me a hand while I... No. What the? Oh, right. The thorns. <laughs> My bad. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I overreacted. Yeah, you know, we want to see you get shot. Again, Law? Can't you even go a minute without putting your foot in your mouth? Seriously, it's fine. I'd rather that than people feeling like they're walking on eggshells around me. Besides, I'm the one who should be vigilant about not touching you guys, not the other way around. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. Not being able to touch people. Does it ever get lonely sometimes? I guess I never really thought about it in those terms. It was either accept it for what it was or come undone. Before long, it was just part of my everyday reality. I think I even forgot there was another way to live. Which isn't to say I didn't feel alone. I did. Always. So numb to your reality, you couldn't even recognize it as loneliness? I don't know how you managed. She That's managed fine. just fine for the most part, it I feels know like. I'm not alone anymore. But I can't even touch you. No way of lending you a shoulder when you're down. Even Alfin. Alfin has touched her a few times. I appreciate the concern. That Until I get sounded really extremely born, wrong. I guess I'll have to put up with it just a little longer. But not forever. Alfin promised me that. Maybe it'll be soon, maybe it won't be. But either way, the day will come. And I'll be ready when it does. Yeah, just hang in there. One day, we'll share a big warm hug. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> I promise. Lightening the mood. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> ah, what the... Are you out of your mind? This isn't the time for games, Rinwell. Yes, it is. Oh, come on. It's literally a game. How am I supposed to resist with you looking all jittery like that? It's called experiencing feelings appropriate to the situation. You ought to try I mean, he's time. right. <laughs> yeah, but seeing you act all nervous, you're making me start to feel nervous, too. Woo! Uh, oh, sorry. Staying alert is important. But too much caution can cloud your judgment. Try to strike a balance. Yes, Mom. All right. Well, I was really hoping by the end of this recording session I would be able to actually do like the training ground stuff and maybe build some assessor eyes. Uh, that's not gonna be the case though, because this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day.